They spent the last year on the front lines of COVID and now a J town couple will spend the next year trying to rebuild a home they lost in a fire over the weekend. Brooke, they lost almost everything, but they're not going through this alone. That's the good thing. No, and they are so thankful for both their neighbors and even strangers who dropped everything to be there with them that day. Katie and Josh Davis are health care workers here in Louisville. They'd fallen asleep in different rooms of their home one night and today are just glad they woke up in time to get out. That was the worst day of our life. I mean, it really was. It was just, you know, everything came to a halt, very grinding halt. And you're just reacting to everything that's going on. You don't know what the totality of everything is going to be, and there's so many unanswered questions. It's just your mind's racing the entire time. It was a week ago last Sunday, just before 6 a.m. Katie and Josh Davis were asleep at home. I woke up to the smell of, like, wood chips or something burning and uh, went to our bathroom, opened the door, and there were embers on the floor. The smoke was thick, the alarms going off. Our first response was just to get out and get our dogs out. Man, 33, 32, are you okay? I'm bringing water. The Jefferson Town Fire Department was there within minutes. I was wearing socks, I was barefoot. People ran out, gave me a hoodie and dry socks and shoes. Days later, they walked through the place they used to call home. We, we just got done getting some grocery shopping done, so we got a lot of food we can't use now. Stepping over charred rubble. It's hard realizing what all is gone. There's years of stuff in there, but that's what it is. It's just stuff. It's replaceable. Found these just sitting in the middle of the floor. And surprisingly, they still work. Of the few things they were able to salvage, a wedding photo. You know, be thankful for what you got. We're just thankful to be alive. And I will say the amount of, sorry, amount of um, love and support we've gotten from friends, family, neighbors, and people we don't know has been amazing in these past few days. Taking so, care of you? Oh yes, yes. We, we've gotten a lot of help and we, we really appreciate it. Now it comes down to it. Fire investigators believe that fire started from faulty wiring in the bathroom fan. I asked the couple what's next. They'd like to rebuild, but with this fire investigation still going and insurance claims, they told me it could take more than a year to get to that point, Daniel.